the No Fate Channel checking in. And on this episode of Community Cultivation, I'm going to see how far I can stretch this $20 bill to help support our local food pantry. Every week when I go food shopping for my family, I have to come home and play a game of Tetris with the refrigerator, moving things around just so to fit all the food that I bought inside. Now that is a problem I am extremely grateful to have and not one that my family ever takes for granted. But there are others that have the problem of putting food on the table. Not everyone is fortunate enough to have a refrigerator and pantries full of food. Many people, those in your community, have trouble putting food on the table. That's where your local food pantries come in. Local food pantries have a simple but very important mission to give assistance to those who are having trouble putting food on their table. I guarantee you there are people right now in your community that are financially strapped and the first thing to go, frankly, is just the amount of food that they're able to purchase. These are people that are down on their luck. More importantly, and often overlooked, this can include the elderly and children. I am normally highly skeptical of all charities. I want to know where the money is spent, what percentage of the money that I donate actually goes to those in need. When you donate to your local food pantry, that food goes directly to those in your area. It's not outsourced. It's all about putting food in bellies. And let me assure you, no one is getting rich or retiring early on that box of oatmeal that you donated. The Drake at Food Pantry has been putting food in people's bellies for a number of years, thanks entirely to volunteers and community involvement. So today, we're gonna take this $20 and stretch it as far as we can and see how much food we can get to help support the food pantry. Now remember, this isn't a first date, so when you go out there and get food to help support your local food pantry, you wanna rock sales, you wanna rock coupons, you wanna rock discounts, and you wanna get generic versions because oftentimes those generic versions are made in the same exact factory as the name brand. Shopping is done and we came in just under $20 at $19.98. We got four cans of albacore white tuna fish, two huge containers of oatmeal. We saved money not only by buying in bulk, but by getting the generic version. Keep in mind the generic version has the same nutritional makeup as the name brand Quaker Oats version and is most likely produced and manufactured in the same plant as the Quaker Oats version. Also, we got two four pound bags of Goya black beans. Keep in mind these are uncooked. So each one of these beans is going to more than quadruple in size once soaked in water and cooked. And these beans can be added to a number of dishes and sides. Um, so there's a lot of variety there for people in terms of what they wanna make with them. I wanna give a massive thank you to the Drake at Food Pantry for all the great things that they're doing in this community. I also wanna thank the number of volunteers that keep that place running and the community that keeps those shelves stocked. I'm gonna put all their information if you are interested in donating to the Drake at Food Pantry in the comments to this video below. If you are thankful for having a refrigerator and cabinets full of food, consider helping your community by donating to your local food pantry. Now I know we all have food at home that we know we're never gonna eat. If it is unopened and unexpired, you can donate that food. Also, if you don't feel that you have the time to go to the grocery store, pick up food, and then drop it off, you can always make a cash donation and show your support that way. If your local food pantry is doing great things in your community, like the Drake at Food Pantry is doing in mine, then shout them out in the comments below. Let us know the great things that they're doing so that we can show them some love too. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back.
The No Fake Channel is dedicated to providing you with ideas on how to improve your community, your community at home, your community in your neighborhood, and your community in your town. I'll also be giving you insight into this dad's tricks, trips, and tribulations.